Hi, it's Dwyer, DwyerCrime.blog. Today is Thursday, March the 3rd, 2022. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me be clear here. Nothing in this video should be construed as expressing any belief whatsoever that Ghislaine Maxwell is innocent. Right? The purpose of this video is not to argue for her innocence or her guilt. It's also not to support sexual harassment, pedophilia, or rape of any kind. But I need for people to understand globally here that in the United States, the people of this country have a contract with government. They have constitutional rights. And of course, one of those rights is that Americans are entitled to a fair trial. Ghislaine Maxwell, in my opinion, even with the judge's recent ruling denying her lawyer's motion to set aside the charges, Ghislaine Maxwell is entitled to a fair trial and I don't believe she got one. The matter is still being investigated. I believe that the guilty verdict is going to be thrown out. Folks, it's a jury verdict. Understand the problem in this case involved the jury. Apparently there came a time during jury deliberations when a juror who's identified as Scotty David, right, apparently that's an incomplete name that does not include his last name, was talking with some hesitant jurors, jurors who were on the fence. And David started talking about his own experiences as a victim of sexual abuse. Right, folks? That simply can't happen in a case where the jurors were asked during jury selection whether that juror or a family member had been Here's the quote from the juror questionnaire. The victim of sexual harassment, sexual abuse, or sexual assault. And according to reports, and we'll get the truth of this, if Mr. David ever testifies at a court proceeding investigating this, according to reports, Mr. David wrote down no in response to that question. Based on his questionnaire, based on his response, he was chosen for this jury. Well, understand the information he provided may have been a lie. It's inconsistent with his statements to other jurors. To the extent that Mr. David participated in the jury, this jury is tainted. It's even more so if he persuaded people to change their votes based on his statements about the sexual abuse he suffered that he failed to acknowledge in the juror questionnaire. So look, as awful as the claims are against Ghislaine Maxwell, right, even given all the eyewitnesses and 
all the evidence that the prosecution presented to the jury because the jury was tainted. In my opinion, this verdict has to be thrown out. It's my understanding, by the way, that Scotty David is thinking about invoking the Fifth Amendment. That's what CNN reported yesterday. And prosecutors are thinking about giving him immunity. Right? Because they want to get at the truth. They're hoping that with immunity, Mr. David is going to explain his juror questionnaire in a way that allows the verdict to stand. Folks, I don't see how that's possible. Why would Mr. David be thinking about invoking the Fifth Amendment? Why would there even be a discussion of giving him immunity? If the statements on his questionnaire were accurate. Just consider this a prediction from a complete stranger online. I believe Ghislaine Maxwell gets the guilty verdict thrown out. She'll be retried, right? But I need for people to understand that now things are going to be a little bit different. Her side knows the presentation that the prosecution is going to put on. Also, the Epstein social circle regrettably, was a vast one. There are other people who may have been involved in terrible illegal activity. I'll be surprised if Ghislaine Maxwell doesn't make an offer to the prosecution since she was found guilty here. Right? I'll be surprised if she doesn't offer to cooperate in some way so that she could reach a plea deal for a reduced sentence. Understand, too, that if she decides not to cooperate, it's going to be tougher for the prosecution the second time around because the defense knows exactly what they're going to be presenting. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video and I hope you listen to our podcasts at dwyercrime.blog. Thanks for stopping by.